Vietnam expects India to turn an alternative source of raw materials for its textile, garment and other industries following the coronavirus outbreak, according to Deputy Prime Minister Vu Ong Dinh Hu, who recently addressed a reception in Hanoi hosted for Indian Ambassador to Vietnam Pranay Verma. The two sides discussed the possibility for cooperation. Negotiators from the United Kingdom and the European Union recently started talks in Brussels aimed at forging a future relationship. The discussion covered trade and trading standards, agriculture, security, transport, energy and fisheries and are being led by Frenchman Michel Barnier for the EU and UK governmental advisor David Frost. Fast fashion is fast withering and there is now need to look out for organic options that are made locally or opting for second-hand options through thrift store, said a recent EU report. On the ecological impact, it says that it takes around 2,700 litres of water to harvest the cotton needed to make a single t-shirt. New Zealand will look forward to a bilateral trade agreement with India if New Delhi does not join the China-backed Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership RCEP. If they don't participate in the RCEP, then we'll obviously want to pursue a trading relationship through a different means, New Zealand's Trade and Export Growth Minister David Parker said. Vietnam's Minister of Industry and Trade recently issued an urgent directive on measures to bolster exports and imports in light of major economic impact of the coronavirus outbreak. He ordered departments to work with industry associations to learn about local firms' material supply capacity and purpose measures to look for alternative sources. Reliance Industries Limited has acquired 37.7% stake in textile firm Alok Industries Limited for Rs 250 crore. Reliance had, along with JM Financial Asset Reconstruction Co. Limited, jointly bid for acquiring Alok Industries that was auctioned under the insolvency and bankruptcy law by lenders to recover its unpaid loans. A new project funded by the European Union to strengthen Nepal's path towards more inclusive economic growth and greater integration into regional and global value chains was announced recently in Kathmandu. Geneva-based International Trade Centre ITC will implement the project focused on Nepal's pashmina fine wool and specialty coffee sectors. The Walt Disney Company has appointed Bob Chepak as Chief Executive Officer. Chepak earlier served as Chairman of Disney Parks Experiences and Products. In his new role, he will directly oversee all the company's business segments and corporate functions.